favourite player or the best player you've played with? Uh, best player that I've ever played with would have to be our leader at Manchester United, Roy Keane. Um, if he wasn't playing in the team, we weren't as good as what we would be if, if he was in the team. There was, there was so many fantastic players there, but he was, he was our leader for me. You played in some great teams, but I'm going to ask you to, to, to pick the best team that you played in. Again, Manchester United. You know that There was a time where people were questioning who was the better team. If we had a, the pick of England or the pick of Manchester United players, you only have to go through the players that we had in, in the Man United team. We had the best Danish, goal, uh, best Danish player in Peter Schmeichel. We had the best West Indian player in Dwight York. We had the best Welsh player in Ryan Giggs. We had the best Dutch player in Yap Stam. For me, all, all these top players were the, were the best players for their countries. And they, you know, add that to all the English players that we had with Beckham and Scholes and uh, the Nevilles, you know, best Irish players, Dennis and, and Roy. You know, it, it was just endless. And uh, it was just, some days in training were just awesome and um, fantastic to be involved with. You scored an awful lot of goals in your career, but can you tell me what was the best goal or the most memorable goal you scored? The most memorable goal has to be the, the 1999 Champions League final against Bayern Munich. It wasn't the best goal I've ever scored, but it was the one that people stopped me in the street and talked talk to me, you know, I would say on average once a day, you know, from, from that 1999. Uh, I know that lots in different times, but on average once a day, someone asks me about that goal and, and tells me where they were and tells me their little story and we, we relive it again. Amazing, isn't it? Mm. Um, manager, best manager you played under? Often get asked who, who my best manager is. Um, I, I always reply with two, two very different managers, Terry Venables and Alex Ferguson. Terry was a, a man's man, uh, had a lovely way of getting his point across, great with details of, about what to do, helping you on the pitch, little finer things that would make you a better player. Uh, and Sir Alex knew how to motivate men, knew how to pick a player without a doubt. He picked so many very, very good players to come and play for Manchester United and made them play to the best of their capabilities. Who's the toughest opponent you ever came up against? Toughest opponent, um, again, get asked it quite a bit. Um, my response to that is the Arsenal back four. Uh, in their heyday, uh, Lee Dixon, Steve Bold, Tony Adams, Nigel Winterburn, and maybe Martin Keown at, at times and that, you know, whoever played in that that back four made it real difficult to get past. You know, you, you couldn't find an inch at times, and they were a unit. And that's that's you know, whenever I talk about good teams, your back four have got to work together, and that they was the epitome of that. Okay, um, let's have a think about stadiums. Um, your favourite stadium to play in? Favourite stadium would have to be uh, the New Camp in Barcelona. You know, we we won the Champions League there in 1999. Um, what a place to win it and how we won it on that day was just so memorable. You know, hot climate out there. Uh, the Manchester United fans stayed there after the game and celebrated with us. It, it was just the perfect place to win the Champions League. Who was the, um, the best character that, that you were lucky enough to share a, a, a dressing room with? Best character? Probably Paul Gascoigne. Always the life and soul of, of everything. You know, uh, could sit on the back of the bus and talk to himself, but out loud and make the lads laugh. You know, just went from one thing to the next, whatever was on his mind, and you know, very hyper. We had to take it in turns in Euro '96 to look after him on a daily basis and nighttime basis as well. But he was just a fun-loving character that w wanted to enjoy life and uh, a top player as well. Best five-a-side player um, would have to be a a leader and a, and a winner and some, someone that you could do something a bit special so that would have to be Paul Gasper. Okay. Um, did you have a football hero growing up, someone you idolised? Um, my footballing hero when I was a kid was, uh, I had two really, uh, Glenn Hoddle and Kenny Dalglish. Um, Glenn Hoddle because of, he was a Tottenham player 
Uh, I used to go and watch him and I would turn up early to, to watch him in his warm-up just to see how graceful he was, how the way he controlled the ball and and just put spin on it and and just did what he wanted with the ball. And then late, later in life when I knew I was going to be a centre forward, I, I just watched Kenny Dalglish, the way he received the ball, turned, played other people in and, and scored fantastic goals as well. All right. Favourite singer? Um, Rod Stewart. <laughs> uh, best place in the world to go on holiday for you? So many beautiful places to go in the world to go on holiday. Um, and I've been to lots. Bermuda. Nice shout. Best tourist, football wise. Best, best tourist. You mentioned, you mentioned Gaza as a personality. Or about somebody who you would consider, you know, going on a trip, going on a tournament, anything like that. I'd want this bloke around. Um, best tourist would have to be very knowledgeable, I think. Not too many knowledgeable footballers that I can think of right this minute. They're all, uh, we're, we're all from the same camp. Um, just want to play football and have a laugh. It's very rare you come across knowledgeable, knowledgeable players. Um, as is in the limelight at the moment, Gareth Southgate. Clever he'd, fella. He'd know his stuff. Clever fella. Uh, I think we're there, yeah?